Hello everyone, welcome back to the best LRDI set series. We have already covered 41 LRDI sets till now. All the cats are absolutely cat level. And if you're someone who's preparing for a cat, I think this is the playlist that you must cover end to end. Okay, and also share it with your friends. So before moving further, I think I have received a lot of text in my personal inbox. That, okay, sir, I've already joined some coaching, but uh, I'm not really getting a good personalized mentorship there. So what is it that I can do? So particularly to answer this question, I have come up with an only mentorship program for all the students who have joined some other coaching or someone who is preparing by themselves. Okay. So for those students, I'll be providing one-on-one -on -one mentorship. Not just that, my advanced workshops where I focus more on the shortcuts and the marathon events that I conduct two to three months prior to CAD. All of that will be taken care of as a part of this mentorship program. So if you're interested in that, you can check out the website or also contact me. So with this, let's move on to today's set. And this is the set for today. I think I've already given the set as a part of the LRDI quiz and very few students were able to solve it. Hence, I thought, let's try to solve this particular set live here. Okay. So this is the set that is given and uh, a very brilliant set. I think a very good set, particularly from the topic of games and tournaments, but a very different variant in itself. Okay. So let's see what the set says. The following table provides partial details about the number of 2020s and ODIs by six players of the Indian cricket team against five nations. Okay, Australia, South Africa, England, Pakistan, the West Indies in the year 2017. Great. So we have uh, six players, six Indian players, and they have played against different countries. Okay, and their scores, both in ODI format and 2020 format is given to us. Now, assume that the Indian cricket team played only against these nations in the year 2017. Okay, and also they played no form of matches other than 2020 and the ODIs. India played 25% of the total matches against Australia and blah, blah, blah. Okay, and there are certain questions. So, certainly this looks like a case of the same table to me, right? That certain information is given to us and certain information is not given to us, of course. Okay. But a very important advice for all the students, in such cases of missing table, don't focus on filling the entire table, right? Because you have to focus more on the question that what is the question trying to say? You may not have to fill the entire table here, okay? Just ignore that, focus on the question and keep on solving it line by line. Okay? Also here, main thing to notice, Virat, Rohit, Shikhar, for example, Virat has played eight matches, eight 2020 matches against Australia. Shikhar has played 11. Right, but there might be some overlap that the eight matches that Virat that Virat has played against Australia in the form of 2020, Shikhar has also played them, and Shikhar has only played three extra. Right, so because it's a team tournament, Virat will not be playing all by himself. There has to be an entire team. Right, so just to put all the information in this table, I think the numbers. I'll try to put the numbers here. So Australia, India has played what 25 percent matches against Australia. This is 20, 15, 10, and 30 percent. These are the numbers. Great. Now let's start having a look at the questions. Question number one the total number of matches played by the Indian cricket team in 2017 could not be less than okay. So we need to find the minimum number of matches that the Indian cricket team must have. So let the number be X. Okay. We need to find minimum value of X. So this is X. We know that uh, against Australia, Indian team must have played 25%, which is X by 4. Against South Africa, India, they must have played X by 5. Against England, 15% is what? 3X by 20. 10% is X by 10. And West Indies is what? 30%? 3X by 10. Right? These are the number of matches played by India against each of them. Now, of course, these men matches have to be integer. So we know X by 4 has to be integer. X by 5 has to be integer. So in this format, if x by 4 and x by 5 has to be integer, which means x must be a multiple of 4 and 5, which means x must be a multiple of 20. If x is a multiple of 20, this will be integer, this will be integer, and this will be integer. So we know that x has to be a multiple of 20 from you. Okay, great. Also, let's see what other information do we know. So also, see, certain matches are given here, right? That, for example, 2020s. So we know Shikhar has played 11 2020s here, right? So, which means 2020s, at least minimum to minimum, then 2020s, at least right? Because Shikhar has played 11. 
And if I talk about ODIs, I can see that Rohit has played 11, Shikhar has played 12, right? So at least come say how I know that Jaspreet has played 18 ODIs, right? Which means at least 18 ODIs are there, which Indian team has played against Australia, right? Which essentially means that 11 plus 18 is 29. India has played at least 29 matches against Australia, right? Which means if X by 4 is the number that India has played against Australia, it has to be at least greater than 29. Similarly, I'll do it for all the others. This number will be what? 12 plus 24. So this has to be what? This number has to be 36. Similarly, this number has to be what? 18 plus 14, 32. Right? Sorry, 18 plus 14. Right? Because 18 is this number and 14 is this number. Correct? So 32. Similarly, this number has to be what? 32. This is 12 and this is 11. So it has to be 23. Similarly, 3x by 10 has to be greater than or equals to 32 is the max here and 19 is the max here, right? So 32 plus 19 is what? 51. Right? So if I simplify all of it, this is what? X is, X has to be greater than or equals to 29 into 4, which is 116. Right? If I solve this, I'll get 180. X has to be greater than 180. If I solve this, I'll get something around what 32 into 20, 640 by 3. 640 by 3 is what 213 point something. If I solve this, I'll get x has to be greater than or equals to 230. If I solve this, I'll get this is say 17. So x has to be greater than or equals to 170. So if I compare all the results, I essentially get that. See, this is the maximum value, right? So I will essentially get that x has to be greater than or equals to 230 is one point, and the second point is that x has to be a multiple of 20. So the lowest multiple of 20 after 230 is what? 240, right? So I can very safely say that the total number of matches Indian cricket team could have played is 240. Of course, it can be 240, 260, 280, but because the minimum number of matches are asked, the answer has to be 240. Okay. I hope this is clear to everyone. Right? I'll wipe it off now. Okay. So the answer to question number one is 240 now. Great. Out of the matches played by the Indy Cricket team against the West Indies, there is West Indies. This is West Indies. Okay. Out of the matches played by Indian Cricket team, okay, against the West Indies, right? The West Indies ke against cricket matches, there were thirty percent of the matches, right? Great. The number of matches not played by Jaspreet could at least be. Up. Maybe ye pucha ki minimum number of matches that Jaspreet could not have played. Okay. So see, Jaspreet has played about thirty-two plus nineteen, which is 32, 51 matches he has already played against West Indies, right? So, I know number of matches he could not have played is what? He could not have played his total number of matches minus matches played is what? Matches played is constant, which is 51. So, I just need to maximize the total number of matches India would have played against West Indies, right? So, what is that answer? I know that min total minimum number of matches that India has played is 240. So West Indies has to be 30% of that, which means this has to be 30% of 240. So 72 minus 51 has to be okay. So answer is nothing but 21. 21 matches are the matches that just played could not have played. Moving further, if Hardik played all the ODIs, okay. If Hardik played all the ODIs and Virat, Virat played all the 2020s against that the Indian cricket team played against England, okay, against England. Mein, is given a Hardik. Hardik played all the ODIs, right? Which means Hardik ne chauda ODIs in England mein and Hardik has played all the ODIs. So I know the total ODIs kitne hai, total ODIs hai, 14. Similarly, Virat played all the 2020s. So whatever is this number, that has to be the maximum number, right? Which means this has to be, of course, greater than or equals to 18. To 18 to Dhoni nahi khele. Right. And what could be the minimum number of 2020 matches played by the Indian cricket team against England? I know England ka number kitna tha. I think it, this was around 10% number. Tha. So 10%. I know that to the total number of matches that uh, has been played here is what? Just a minute. England, I'll check. I think 10% was Pakistan. This was 15%, right? Let me just check the numbers first. Against England, it is 15 percent right so if it is a percent then 15 percent of 240 is what 24 plus 10 so in total 36 matches have been played 
बाय इंडिया अगेंस्ट इंग्लैंड राइट जिसमें से 14 तो ओडीआई ही है राइट right? अगर 14 ओडीआई है देन बच्चा कितना 22 मैचेस आर द मैचेस दैट आर प्लेड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ 2020 सो आई नो अगर 2020 के 22 मैचेस हुए ऑल द मैचेस मस्ट हैव बीन प्लेड बाय विराट बिकॉज़ दिस व्हाट इज गिवन टू अस इन द क्वेश्चन इट्स आंसर टू दिस हैज टू बी 20 परफेक्ट so see i can see that all the other questions are dependent on question number 1 so if i don't get this correct i will probably mess up all the other questions okay so question number 4 what is the minimum number of matches played by shikhar okay by this is shikhar throughout the season if he played all the 2020 matches against england pakistan and west indies see let's see so shikhar ke total number of matches mujhe nikalna hai so australia ke against to mujhe pehle se pata hai australia ke against it is what 11 plus 12 23 matches here it is what 15 matches right 7 plus 8 15 matches usme khele england ke against mujhe nikalna and it is given to us that he has played all the 2020 matches against england pakistan and west indies right so yahan ke sare matches usne khele correct mujhse pucha gaya hai minimum number of matches that he must have played so i know england ke minimum number of matches kitne honge So 15% of 15% of 240, 240 is the minimum number of matches India has played. So 15% of 240 is what 36 number of matches that India must have played against England. This was Pakistan was I think 10 and that was 30. So if it is 10, then it has to be 24 and that has to be 72. These are the number of matches that India has played, right? Correct. अभी मुझे ये पता है मैं शिखर की बात कर रहा हूँ, right? So I know शिखर has played what 13 matches in the ODI tournament, right? शिखर has played 13 matches in the form of ODI or mujhe minimum number of matches nikalne hai played by shikhar throughout the season okay so i need to find the minimum number of matches that shikhar has to play in the form of 2020 also this is given that he has played all the 2020 matches against england so yahan pe jitne bhi matches hote hai right so i know dhoni has played at least 18 matches against england which means shikhar has to have play at least 18 matches usse zyada to minimum utna to hona hi chahiye if he is playing 18 matches I know total number of matches is 36. How will this be possible? See, this will be possible when 18 is here. I can still have 18 matches here, and then 18 plus 18 will be 36, right? So that's no constraint to me. So yes, Shikhar can play 18 matches in the 2020 and equal Dhoni, so that he still plays all the 2020 matches, right? Similarly, if I talk about Pakistan, Pakistan's total 24 matches are. But Dhoni has played maximum 11, so Shikhar can also play 11 and remaining. So I will have 11, 20, 20. So I must have what 13 ODI. मैं 13 कहीं पे भी ला सकता हूँ चलो चलो. That's not my issue. Because I just need to minimize Shikhar के matches. Similarly, West Indies के total matches are 72. यहाँ पे 32 का number है, so he can play 32 here and the remaining 30 can be played any by anyone else, right? I don't care. So now I have all the numbers. With me, so the total sum put out is correct. It has to be what 23 plus 15 plus 18 plus 13 is what 31 plus 17. 32 plus 18 is 50, right? So if I just sum all of them, 8, 6. This is 130. Is the sum that I get? The answer to this particular question has to be 136. a very 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 brilliant chat this was okay if there are any questions guys do let me know in the comment section i think this was one of the perfect cat level set that you could possibly see in the entire series okay and uh, stay tuned do subscribe to our channel and keep on sharing these links with your friends if you are really looking forward for cat level lrds because there is no coaching there is no book i can guarantee that will give you such level of content great guys i'll see you again